Dog saves owner by shielding her from house fire. A fluffy dog named Shay is being hailed a hero for shielding his owner from a fire that tore through the house in Philadelphia last week. And if it wasn't for Shay, neighbors say they too might have been at risk. The dog began barking in the middle of the night, alerting neighbors to smoke that led to several 911 calls. Fire officials said that the home had no working smoke detectors, CBS Philly reported. Jean Leary, founder of the Red Paw Emergency Relief Team, arrived on the scene as Shea was being pulled out of the burning building by firefighters. They said they found Shea laying on top of his owner, Leary told CBS News. Both the woman and the dog were unconscious. As soon as Leary arrived on scene, neighbors didn't hesitate to tell her about Shea's heroic act. They said to me, Shea saved our lives. We heard him barking and he never barks in the middle of the night like that, she described. They saw the smoke and called 911. They all said, too, that the owner and Shay are so tight. They are always together. Always. The dog didn't suffer any burns, but his owner, Andrea Bullitt, suffered burns over 50% of her body and was reported to be in critical condition. They found her on the floor of the living room. The dog was on top of her, neighbor Anthony Daly told CBS Philly. I guess he had tried to protect her. After the dog's owner was transported to the hospital, officials provided Shay with oxygen on the scene, and the pup was taken to a local animal hospital, suffering from severe smoke inhalation. Now, nearly a week after the fire, Shay is on his way to a full recovery. On Thursday, the dog was taken off of oxygen and released from the hospital. He will remain in the care of Bullet's friends. He's an older dog, Leary said. Sometimes it takes a little longer to recover. Leary, who's part of a team of seven, said the animal rescue team is on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, ready to help any animal in need. The local fire chief gives the team a call whenever a pet is involved. We're there to fill that void in the emergency response system, Leary said. There was no organization helping families with their pets. They take care of the people, put out the fire, but nobody was taking care of the pets. This isn't the first time Leary has heard people credit a pet with saving a life. It happens all the time. Not so much the shielding of the owner in the way that Shay did, she said. We're told all the time from families that we assist. It was because of their dog or because of their cat that they were alerted to the fire. <laughs>